I've been thinking about my strongest desire. It's something that I'm at an age where I think maybe I should slow down a little bit and maybe start enjoying other things, but it doesn't seem like I can. For me, that's travel. I knew from the age of about 11 or 12 that I wanted to see as much of the world as I could. And I have Sister Maria Blanca's fifth or sixth, fifth grade geography class to thank for that when she showed us map of the world and had us guess, you know, her exes, what, what country that was. Anyway, it took me 40 years to start really realizing that dream, that goal. 53 years old before I started traveling internationally. Before then, it was in and around the United States. So for the last 16 years, I've been doing a lot of international travel, mostly because I've lived abroad all those years as well. And this year, though, I tried to test myself. I said, Michael, you have a theater project in the January. You're filming a short movie in May and you want to do another theater project at the end of the year. So this year, you don't do any international travel. Stay in Mexico, take a couple small trips inside the country if you want. No international travel. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I'm thinking, all right, so I, was, I, I got back from Italy last year in November, and if I don't go somewhere until like March of next year, that's almost a year and a half. I can't do it. So I booked a trip to Spain in September for two months. And uh, I'm glad I did because it would have drove, driven me crazy if I hadn't. Travel is something I have enjoyed and I hope to continue it for several more years.